Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, um, as you can clearly see, I am not wearing any makeup right now. That is because I decided to do this awesome video, um, the 50-50 tag, and I was tagged by one of my favorite YouTubers, Anya Marie. Um, she's a fellow Project Panner. If you guys aren't already subscribed to her, you should be because she is just so great. She's one of my favorite Project Panners to watch. Um, I'll leave her channel information and everything linked down below. But anyway, essentially what this tag is, is you do half of your face. What is this? That's not half. Half of your face in makeup. And the other half is your normal bare face. So I'm going to go through um, and do one side of my face and kind of just chat with you guys. Um, I'm still not feeling super great, which is why I'm wearing my bathrobe because basically after I film this, I will be getting ready for bed because... Yeah, still just not feeling 100%. So I just thought this video would be a lot of fun. And I thought it would give me an excuse to use some of my favorite products that I haven't been using because I've been project panning. I look at it kind of like a mini cheat because I did use my project pan items and I was wearing them all day today. I just took all that stuff off before I started filming this. And I'm going to show you guys um, what some of my favorite products are. And some of them probably aren't any surprise. So as always, the first thing I would put on is primers. And I'm just gonna have, since there's no mirror like there, I'm gonna have my little mirror here. Um, I have to remember really hard to not do both sides of my face. It's, um, so I'm using my Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion, anti-aging. I don't know why it's so like dark. Bam, look at that, okay. So I really, really love this um, eyeshadow primer. Urban Decay eyeshadow primer has so changed my life because before I started using this stuff, um, I noticed that my eye makeup just completely slid off and disappeared off of my face. And it was just so not pretty by the end of the day. But let's zoom in a little bit. I don't want to scare you guys too much. Better? Okay. So next I'm using my favorite primer. This is the Corez pomegranate face primer. This is a mattifying primer. I really, really love this primer. And for me, I find that face primers really help to even out my skin and really help my makeup to last longer. Um, not just with my eyes, but I also have had some problems with, with like foundations and everything else staying on my skin. And with a combination of a really good primer and with a setting spray, I find that my makeup lasts for a super, super long time. So, and this stuff smells really good too. Um, it doesn't have like an overwhelming smell, but you can definitely smell a tiny bit of the pomegranate, which is I think is really, really nice. Next, I'm gonna go with, in with some eye stuff. Um, I decided to go with the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay because it is one of my favorites. I've hit pan on it. This was before I was like trying to even do any project pan kind of things because I really, really love this little palette. It's so great. Um, and I haven't been using it because I've been using the Naked palette, although I've been meaning to incorporate it um, with using the Naked palette. So what I'm doing now, I'm just hit putting a uh, walk of shame onto my lid. Basically, this is my perfect lid color. It is a perfect, perfect match for my skin tone. I just love it so much. Ugh. I wish this was available in a single because I would absolutely be buying this. And I really should be pairing this with some stuff from Naked because um, I think it would work so, so much better than some of the other colors in there. Because there aren't a lot of dark colors in the, or there aren't a lot of light colors, I should say. Uh, especially matte colors in the Naked palette. The two matte colors, because uh, there is only two in the Naked palette, are too dark for me. So I just took Faint, and I'll show you guys Faint in a second. Um, but I'm just kind of blending Faint into my crease and concentrating a lot on the outer corner of my eye. This is what my kind of go-to makeup look was before I was really concentrating on like project pan items because um, it's really really simple. You really don't need to do a whole lot and I think that it I really like the look anyway. Um, 
So anyway, um, so that is Walk of Shame here, which was on my lid, and this is the color I just put um, here. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Walk of Shame on that crease brush and just kind of blend out a little bit more of Faint. Oh, I miss this palette so much. It's kind of strange using this because I haven't been doing any kind of like eye looks like this with the Naked palette simply because there just hasn't been uh, many matte colors and I've been just doing basic, like pretty basic looks really with the Naked. And also I've been sick so I haven't been using a whole lot of makeup to begin with. So I was just taking Venus with my um, ring finger and putting a little bit underneath my uh, brow there. I don't usually like a lot of highlight but kind of feeling it right now. So there's not a whole lot to this eye look here. Um, it's really pretty simple and that's what I was really going for with this. Okay so after I do um, eye stuff I go in with my foundation and I'm using my favorite foundation. This is Urban Decay's Naked Skin. Love this stuff. So I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. Um, I do feel like my eye makeup is a little like uneven and a little weird, but maybe it's just the way that what I'm used to. I think this looks kind of funny because I'm not doing my whole my whole face. It's really it really kind of strange putting the foundation on um, but I'm just using a beauty blender it's my favorite way to apply this foundation um, I think it looks very nice and really it's a light coverage but it just kind of blends very easily and very well and I like the way that it makes my my skin look so foundation and no foundation. So then I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. Um, I have the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil in DEA. Um, this is in my project pan. Um, I'm just, I just have this spot on my forehead that won't go away and I don't know what it is because it's just it's not like a breakout or anything. Um, it's just this reoccurring patch on my forehead that just kind of is a little bit scabby and then the scab peels away and or I pick it off and it uh yeah so that's the only real thing that I wanted to try and cover up and then I have of course my flower concealer because this stuff's awesome and just to brighten up my under eye area just a little bit I usually put a little bit on too much in and underneath my nose as well. And then I go back in with my beauty blender and just kind of blend all of that out. Uh, Urban Decay is coming out with a new concealer very soon that actually goes with the Naked Skin Foundation. It's like the Naked Skin Concealer and I'm really, really excited to get that. Um, I am definitely excited. I have a beauty budget instead of a no buy. Um, I, I haven't spent any money though this month on any makeup products at all. I haven't bought a thing, which I'm pretty proud of. But as soon as the Urban Decay uh, spring stuff was released and they talked about that naked skin concealer, I was like, I don't even care. I am buying that stuff. So that is that. For a little bit of powder, um, I'm going to go in with um, Les Beige Chanel. This is uh, number 10. So that's what that looks like there. And I'm just going to kind of this would be sort of what I would do in a normal day if I was wearing this kind of a makeup look. So this is such a beautiful powder and it feels so good on the skin and everybody should invest in some kind of 
high-end products that make them feel good. I know it's not all about the designer stuff and everything, but there's just something about using Chanel and Dior, products like that, that just make me feel so, I don't know, classier than I am. <laughs> so I just like to buff this into my skin a little bit until I'm happy with the coverage and some of the natural oiliness of my skin seems to have disappeared a little bit and my skin looks just a little bit more even and I'm happy. Then before I do some more um, face stuff, I'm just going to go in and finish my eyes because this is the weird routine things that I do. So I have my Stila Smudge Stick um, eyeliner in Lionfish. Stila Lionfish. And this is a pretty brown liner and I thought that brown would be most complimentary to this eye look. Um, as I said I think in my last video when I was talking about my makeup choices for the week I haven't been craving a lot of eyeliner and I totally blame that 30 day lipstick challenge because I was focusing so much on the lip products I was using and before that, I was so all about the eyeliner, heavy eyeliner. And I definitely haven't been all about any heavy eyeliner. I just don't like it. So I'm going to put a little bit more eyeliner on here than I probably have been wearing, but uh, This is like a classic eye look that I like, which is a more dramatic eye. Although my lipstick color is not a nude. And then I'm gonna go in with my uh, Josie Marin Black Oil, Argan Black Oil Mascara, because I really like the way that this makes my lashes look. Um, I've never been super crazy about high-end mascaras. It just didn't seem worth it because they're usually so expensive and they really don't last that long. But this is a mascara that ever since I got it, I've loved. Then a step I've been loving, my um, Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow. This is in medium brown and my god, I've shown this so many times. It's probably sickening. And I'm using the brush that I bought to go along with it. I always end up over applying this stuff and end up having to work pretty hard to correct it because I get so into like a heavy brow and then I kind of step back and I'm like whoa that is not a look for life. Only a couple of things left. I am going to do blush next, and I went with my Tarte Little Mini Blush in Exposed. This stuff is beautiful. This is such the perfect uh, everyday blush color, um, and I'm just using this e.l.f. brush because I find that it just flatters the shape of my face the best. And then uh, for bronzer, I'm going with my Smashbox uh, Bronze Lights Suntan Matte, which, look at all that pan. Look at all that pan. Love this stuff. Um, I like... And see, I don't do like an all over bronzer. I just do like a little contour. Nothing dramatic. That's why I like to do the blush first and see where the blush sits. <laughs> and then lastly, I decided to go with my NARS lipstick in Gypsy. Um, love this. When I hauled this um, a while ago, I talked about how long I had wanted it. This stuff was on my wish list for, oh god, years. 
and I quite like the formula of NARS lipsticks. I wish they weren't so expensive because I would definitely have a lot more. That looks kind of ridiculous, but let me show you guys. So that's half of my face done in makeup, and the other half is me without. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you are interested in doing this tag, please do, and definitely let me know that you did. I link your video in the comments down below, because I would really love to watch it. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so, so much for putting up with me over the past few days. <gasps> Zoomed out there. It was just too much. Um, so anyway, I'm just so sorry for the lack of videos. <sighs> I just need to get over this and just get back into the groove um just i really really appreciate all of your guys's patience and understanding um i can't help being sick it is what it is and thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video today i really really truly appreciate it so thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye